Hi everyone and welcome to this video where I'm going to be opening up another box set from Doctor Who. This is another figure box set from the Three Doctors this time. So another John Pertwee box set. I have just unboxed the Demons box set. So like that one, it's got a Brigadier figure in. It's also got Joe Grant and a Gel Guard or Gel Guard. I can't, don't know how you say that properly. It's this big blobby monster thing. <laughs> from the Three Doctors. I do like the Three Doctors as a story. It's the first multi-Doctor story they did uh, for the 10th anniversary. The Joe Grant figure in this set is quite unique. It has removable coat and changeable arms, so you can have her out of her coat or inner coat. Um, I do like her outfit in this, actually, the big furry coat. It's uh, something that I, <laughs> I quite like myself, a big furry coat. I do like my jumpers and cardigans. <laughs> So we'll take this out of the box. It's quite hard to see. It's not focusing very well on the camera. Um, unfortunately, my uh, <laughs> you can see in there, uh, my arms for Joe Grant have come loose. <laughs> they're rattling around inside the box. So hopefully they're not damaged. Uh, I'll just have to have a look and see. This set is quite old now. Um, I got this on Amazon. I did find it at a reasonable price. It's quite expensive to get now on eBay. But I found it on Amazon for literally half the price. It's probably because the arms are loose <laughs> and the uh, seller just wanted to get rid of the box. So let's see what we've got. It's not this empty box. This is the inside. Again, not quite focusing properly. It's quite hard to see in there. It's quite dark. Uh, so let's just take the figures out and we'll have a look. Um, what first we'll do is get rid of this empty packet that had her arms in. There's one arm. There's the other one. They do look alright. I don't think they're damaged at all. That's, that's quite nice. Uh, if I can, I'll try and um, change her outfit on camera so you can see what she looks like in both versions. It's nice of her to have this feature as well. And not all figures have such a unique feature. I thought the Brigadier didn't have any accessories, but he has got a pistol tucked away uh, behind him here, which is nice. So they really have put a lot of thought into this set, like they didn't have to give the Brigadier any accessories. I mean, it, it's enough to have Joe Grant with two different outfits. <laughs> right, snipped her out of there. Uh, so that's the backing. Um, again, it's from the show, so it's a little blurry. You can see it's like a screen capture. Uh, you can't quite see it all in detail. It's just basically, uh, I can't really remember what it is. It's like something to do with the Gale Guards, Gale Guard layer, or where Omega is, I guess. Um, so we'll have a look at this figure first, just because it's basic and hollow. <laughs> uh, but yeah, his arm moves up and down. Um, in the show, this lights up um, and shoots. Obviously, you don't see anything shoot out, but it sort of lights up and blows up things. Um, it would have been nice, I suppose, to have a button on here to make this light up, uh, but obviously that's, again, cost. Um, but I can see why they've just done a, a static figure. At least his arm moves. So yeah, it's a nice figure. A little bulky. I won't be keeping this in my collection. Um, I just want the Doctors and Companions and this isn't a monster I want to keep, I only want to keep my favourites. So unfortunately I won't be keeping this, but it is a nice figure. Uh, next I'll do the Brigadier, just um, just so I can concentrate on Joe Grant in a minute. Um, so he comes with his pistol um, and he's in his like proper uniform with the jacket and everything. As I said in my Demons video, I prefer him with his jumper and his cap. So I won't be keeping this version, but this is a nice, this is my like second favourite version of the Brigadier. Um, I would keep him if I was keeping more than one of each character, but I'm not. I haven't got the room or the space to display them. Um, so unfortunately he will be up for sale. The only reason I got this set was the Joe Grant figure, because this is the version of Joe Grant I really want in my collection. That's yeah, Brigadier. Again, brilliant likeness, Nicholas Courtney. 
uh, same head they've all used in the uh, demon set. So yeah, really nice figure. And then we get the main reason I got this set. It's the Joe Grant figure played by Katie Manning. All her outfits were brilliant. Um, I just love them. If there was a Sea Devils version of Joe Grant, I, that's the one I would keep because that's my favourite story from her era. Uh, but this is the next best thing. Uh, I do like this outfit a lot on screen. A big fluffy coat. And what's really nice is you can take the coat off and change your arms. Um, so I don't know how easy this is going to be. Um, so I'm going to attempt to do it on camera. So you pull her arms out. You probably don't want to be doing this too often because you don't want to break the figure. Um, it is quite stiff to do. Okay. So then you take her coat off and then plug in her other arms. So it's not it's not too bad. I think I will display her with a coat on maybe, I don't know yet. Okay, it's very stiff, it's obviously been in the packaging a couple of years. But yeah, that's the figure without the coat on. Brilliant likeness of Katie Manning. Um I can tell it's Joe and She's in this really cool 70s outfit. So yeah, articulation, you've got thigh, swivel, um, knees, uh, legs, obviously, um, shoulders. <laughs> obviously you've got to be careful about arms, if they're not in properly. Um, you've got elbows and the wrists as well. Head moves, obviously your hair's a little out of place in the dress version because there's obviously got to be room for the coat to go underneath it. Um, but I do like this outfit a lot, but I think I will display her with her coat on because that's the uh, like complete outfit that I prefer. So I will just dismantle her and put her coat back on. It's a bit fiddly getting the coat under her hair. A little bit of manipulation, you can do it. So there you go. That's what it looks like <laughs> with the coat on. Uh, so you see the hair falls a lot closer to her body with the coat on. And these arms clip in a lot easier, probably because they're the ones that came with the figure in the box. So they plug in nice and tight. As I said, you probably don't want to be doing this too often. I mean, I have noticed a couple of flecks of paint have come off. Uh, the knobs here. So you probably don't want to be dismantling her too often, otherwise her, her arms might break or there'll be a lot of paint wear on the arms. Uh, but yeah, I much prefer her outfit with the coat like this. It's more iconic. This is what I remember Joe Grant being like in the episode more than the other version. So yeah, I'm over the moon to get a Katie Manning as Joe Grant figure for my collection. It's another one to cross off my list. My uh, one companion, one doctor list that I've got going. So I'm on the lookout for a John Pertwee third doctor figure. And it's the one from the Sea Devils because that's my favourite story of his era. As I said, if they did a Joe Grant from the Sea Devils, I'd keep that one. But this will do in the meantime. So yeah, hopefully when I get my John Pertwee, this will go right next to it and make a nice addition to my collection. So thanks for watching everyone. Um, this is the complete set again. Let me know down below which is your favourite figure from this set. It's probably not the jail guard, but you never know, someone might really love this figure. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you all soon. Take care, bye!